So here we go, round number three. MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, the WBO Weatherweight Championship of the World. Okay, two both. very close rounds, round one no, and no, two. No, no. Born in the go, uh, orange and black. Yeah, Colonel, both boys fully warmed up now. Got their motors running at 100%. And, you know, from now on, let's, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who lands the plan of shots. Good shots there from Crawford. Crawford throws Horn away, showing that he's got power. Oh, gee, he got it clipped by a pretty good right hand yeah. in there. Right hook. By, oh, oh, nice right hand by Horn. Look at these guys go at it now. Wow, Crawford took that shot well. That was a cracking right hand. Yeah, he did. And that might be something down the line that Crawford's got to be concerned of, but... You don't want to see uh, Horn absorbing that kind of punishment this early in the fight. He's going to land some of his right hands down, too. Crawford is as good defensively as, as he is offensively. And that extra four and a half inches of reach is showing right now. Wow, he's got some fast hands, Crawford. Yeah, he really has. And, you know, when we talked about the fight leading up to it, we talked about the skills of Crawford and Horn just a, really a tough, tough guy. Caught him on good, the chin. Good shots, good shots from Horn. He didn't feel that, though. Stop! Stop! So far, referee Robert Bird doing a really good job. He's not obtrusive in the fight. He's yep. letting them go. He's letting them fight. He doesn't He doesn't move in. There's that little dipsy doodle that Jeff does coming in, trying to get Crawford off, and Crawford bangs him, but most of that caught in the back of the glove. Caught him caught on the glove, for sure. Horn looking fairly calm. He doesn't seem to be too worried at this stage, but he's finding Crawford hard to... You know, now with more than one punch at a time. Crawford really stayed oh. down and punches. But Jeff was pulling his head when he got hit with that one. Wow. It looked, it, when it, you see that in slow motion, it's going to look a lot better. Oh, good right hand from Jeff Horn. Both boys having their moments. Crawford winning the round. Minute to go. Barry, what has he got to do to get this guy off this uh, this plane that he's on? He's got to keep him backing up, I think, and, and land bombs. He needs to hurt. He needs to hurt Crawford. So far, Crawford's taken every shot that uh, just landed can, very well. Can you do that with a guy that boxes well, as well? Go, that's that's the point. He's a, he is an, a, a remarkable boxer. Incredible combination. Good left hand. Yeah, he caught Jeff with a, a, a decent left hand. Remember, that's the power shot when he's fighting as a southpaw, which will probably stay uh, another straight left hand down. Down the middle, which of course is what the southpaw fighter has to do with the right hand. Oh, guy. big left hand from Crawford. Now yeah, Crawford is beginning to pile up some punches down. Jeff stands right in front of him. Doesn't want to be there. Got to give that movement side to side. He Try to, to get angles on this guy. It's the only way you can do it. He needs to go to the left, I think, Colonel. Lovely uppercut. Oh, good clean shots from Crawford. Yeah, right now Crawford is really outboxing Jeff. Jeff is as tough as they come. And I think Crawford's a little bit surprised at just how tough this guy is, but that's another Crawford round. Undoubtedly. Well, they went to work on the eye, but I haven't seen any blood. Someone said he was cut, but I don't think it's anything, anything to worry All about. All right, we'll look day. for that anyway. Oh, good right hand. Yeah, there. chopping right hand from Horn, and that's what we want to see. And more of that. You know, there really is a, a significant stop, 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 difference in, in the reach of this uh, property. Not only does he have the hand speed, but the reach makes a difference, too. It's very tough for Jeff to get a shot going. This is the way he's got to do it, by feigning, trying to get off. What's Jeff doing here? Switching southpaw to try and shake this guy up a little bit. He just can't hit him. See how quick Crawford is on his feet as well? Yeah, uh, look, very, very quick on his feet, Crawford. He seems to be able to get in and out whenever he wants to. But Jeff Horn trying to put the pressure on, walking up relentlessly and that's what he needs to do but he needs to pin him in the corners if he can get him there and unload unload with both hands but you know easier said than done look at Crawford moving jabbing no, 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 and moving no 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 yeah Crawford is backing up and setting traps he's want to sucker him in now with the see he goes with that quick right hand but he'd like to land that body shot up underneath Jeff's right hand if he can sucker Jeff in Jeff comes in let and he go, ties him up go. inside. They both exchange in the inside. And Robert here. Bird says, fight and get out. You got one hand free, go ahead. Yeah, he's got that. It's like a chopping right oh, hook. Stop, stop. Crawford, it's incredibly fast let's and it's got power. Let him go. Horn needs to be straight back on him. Put the pressure on. Keep him going. Nice feet. Nice feet down there. Barry went to the body downstairs. But this guy's so quick, in and out. Hard to hit plainly. Let's really go, hard to hit cleanly. Not much in this round at the moment. Nearly half. We've just gone halfway through the round. 
anyone's round at this stage. I see he beats him to the punch again as Jeff tries to come in. A couple of jabs yet. Yeah. And oh. then the straight left hand again. That's no, his no, no, power no, no, shot. No, 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 Spins no, no, Jeff around. Look at uh, look at Crawford. He uh, has it in his mind. I get this thing totally. He's smiling. Loads up his shot. Jeff tries to spin him away. Set up again. Tries the feint coming in. Nails him with the right hand. Crawford knows how to tie him up. Wow. Finding it hard to tag Crawford cleanly. Oh, stop. He hasn't really been able to get him super clean yet. A couple of times during the course of the fight, that's about it. The Crawford looks like he's out uh, in a sparring session for him. He's really enjoying it. Wide-eyed, bushy tail, big grin on his face. Edge exuding a lot of confidence at the moment. Terence Crawford. Jeff trying to give it the feints, but just can't seem to catch him. Every time he gets set up, he misses when he comes in because what happens is his Crawford hits him in between attempted punches. That's how quick his hands are. His hands are like lightning, they really are. Did you think, Barry, coming into this fight that Crawford was this good? Um, to be honest with you, I've watched a lot of his fights, and that's why I basically say that, you know, Jeff Horn needs to win by knockout. But Crawford has the look in his face as we moved around number five of the scheduled 12 rounder. It's going to really be hard for Horn, and you're right, Barry. He's going to have to knock him out to win this fight. Yeah. Because he's he's uh, to my score sheet, I got it 40-36 after four. So let's see what Jeff can do here now. Crawford just so quick on his feet. Jeff trying to get in there and line something up, and there's the hand speed again of Bud Crawford, and, and the whole crowd goes whoa. Lightning fast hand. Yeah, and you know, like he's taken every hard shot of Jeff so far without, you know, batting an eyelid. He hasn't seemed to be hurt. Oh, vicious right hand hook inside. And that's how that's what he does to suck you in. He holds his hands up and goes up and down with them. Yeah. Jeff comes in and commits, and then he whacks him as he pulls out to the left. Jeff just hasn't been able to hit him clean. There's the two head to head. Oh, Jeff sure. tough. He's inside banging oh. away, but no doing no damage to this guy. Robert Bird wants him about hitting him behind the head. Crawford maintains a southpaw stance. Jeff stays as a orthodox fighter that he oh, fights 99.9% no, 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 of the time. No, 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 no. Okay, Looks like switch just once. Maybe Jeff should change his, his tactics and go stop, to the body stop. more. You know, keep no, no, his no, head no, down no, no. and, and pit, try and pin him and work the body. Get some big body shots in. The, the problem is, uh, Barry, as you say that, I agree with you 100%, but the guy's so quick on he his does, feet. He's gone. He's like a ghost. Yeah. How, do you, how do you execute it, you see? And then and then when you get in like this, he's oh, got he's the hand up on your head. And he's he pushing you away. He's yeah. got you off balance. Good work by Horn there. Good, excellent work inside. But no damage done to Crawford. No. Now Crawford comes back, clips him with the left hand, pops the right hand in Jeff's face again. <laughs> Jeff is cut. It's not too bad. No, I think we're okay at the moment. Let him go, Jeff. Let him go. Punch it, get out. Punch it, get out. Crawford doing the rough stuff, stuff in there as much as Jeff Horn. Both boys getting rough this in there. This will be clean. You hold him. Don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Robert Bird saying, and Jeff, don't hold him. Jeff was clamping down his arms. That, that's that punch that I was talking about, that he, he works and tries to hit you in the body. This is the hand speed again by Crawford. Oh. Straight left hand by Crawford. Horn doing all he can to get to the body, but he just can't damage Crawford. His Crawford showing, boy, he's strong enough to be 147 pounder, isn't he? That's, that's what he's showing, all right. He's certainly strong. Not looking good at this stage, to be honest, for Jeff Horn. I've had one round even, and I've given all the others to Crawford. This Crawford winning this round as well. And he just throws him back. He has, like, as little respect as anybody's had for Jeff this whole week. Jeff's been up against it, but... Uh, he certainly has. Giving it all he can. Coming to the end of round five, ten seconds remaining. Bringing Major League Boxing from Australia to the boxing capital of the world in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Whoa, 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 stop. Watch your head, baby. Many oh. have tried, including Jeff Fennick, Shannon Taylor, Victor Chenium was successful a couple of times. Michael Katsidis, other guys that have been successful in the United States. 
Lionel Rose, Paul Briggs, Gary St. Clair, Sammy Solomon. Let's see if anything that Glenn said as we approach uh, the second half of the fight. We're coming uh, into the sixth round, so we got this one to go and six more. Crawford show so far has just shown ex extraordinary speed, extraordinary foot speed as well. Jeff having a real difficult time landing clean shots. Yeah, he sure is. That's, you know, definitely currently he's not landing the power clean shots. Trying everything he possibly can, moving side to side, putting pressure on in and out. Just can't seem to get to him. And, and again, he, it, as the fatigue sets in, he can't allow this guy to be thrown around like this. He's got to do the pushing. He's got to try to back him back. And again, I say that we want to see him do that, but it's so tough for him to do it against Crawford because Crawford is so, so skilled. And he appears very strong as well, Crawford, at this stage. You know, when you when you rate him with Vasily Lomachenko and Gennady Golovkin, uh, amongst the very best, Crawford could be the very best. Pound and pound. And this is what Jeff is up against. And while each round he's, he's showing as best he can, gradually Crawford has beaten him down. Yep. Yeah, he really needs to land, no, 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 you know, no, no, something no, really no, big. No, 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 no. Getting a little bit messy. Robert Bird onto it. Bird is a, is a great referee, and, and uh, I told Glenn Russian, you don't need to worry about that. He'll keep it real fair in there. So yep. far, there haven't been the head clashes. Uh, I didn't see any indication that it was a punch that opened up that gut. Jeff, his, his legs uh, look just a little bit weak. And oh, uppercut inside there. He's just uppercut. Jeff's head bounced back on that one. Yeah. Now he's trying to catch his uh, breath, and he gets nailed right on the midsection. His right hand has just been unable to catch Crawford clean at all. And when it has, it's, you know, as you let said, it's go, not 100% clean. It hasn't Put really your hands taken, Let's you go. know, shown Let's much damage. Out. It hasn't really hurt Crawford at all. He's one tough guy. Yeah, Crawford, Crawford is uh, just enjoying this, this fight because he knows in his mind he's in total control right here. Jeff has got to land something big to turn it. It's his only hope. He's got a good fight plan and trying to come in and faint left and right. And you know what Crawford does and buy any of his feints. Yep. Certainly not falling into it. 30 seconds remaining. Round six. There's that body shot again. And Crawford is famous for suckering guys in when he can get a shot at that liver. And we've got a change in pattern here. Jeff Horn on the back foot. Crawford on the on the front foot all of a sudden. Possibly might have been hurt from the body shot. Look at that hand speed, though. Man, as we come up to the closing seconds of this the sixth round. Not a big round for uh, Crawford, but just enough to win the round again. Definitely won the round. All right, here we go to the second half of the fight now as Crawford has uh, given uh, Jeff Horn fits. The Hornets got to come out of his nest and get something going to get that smirk off the face of the challenger now, here he is he's got a second win it looks like he tries to pick it up a little bit landed three shots there there's no quit in uh, jeff horn that's for sure but his ability to land of this guy is uh, it, you know it just shows the, the tremendous when you say pound for pound that's what profit is but mind you, Jeff is still a heavy guy today. He's uh, probably in at uh, 155, 156, but he hasn't been able to show his power against Crawford at all because he hasn't really nailed him cleanly. Now, I mean, Crawford's been surprisingly strong as well, and he's, he's, he's liked to show that. He's been showing that, trying to throw Jeff around. Yeah, well, he's trying to make a statement when he does that. Undoubtedly. See, see, the referee has admonished uh, Horn, and, and uh, now he's admonishing him again. You're leading with the head. Well, you know, I don't know whether he's exactly leading with the head, but he's walking Just his in. style. He walks in that exactly, way. Exactly, you know, like... But you don't want to be coming straight into this guy anyway. You want to come in at an angle. Well, he's, he's been trying that, but it's trying to unsettle Crawford. It hasn't been successful so far. The hand speed and the reach is significant. Good Caught him with the right hand that time. Good back. right hand, but caught back. I want to see Jeff Horn go to the body more. Bang some big body shots in. I mean, we're in the seventh round now. Is there still time to try to hurt that uh, seven, eight-pack body that he's got? 
so says Eddie. You hit him cleanly in the right spot, Colonel, and, you know, it doesn't matter, especially when they're not expecting it. It hurts them. Doesn't matter how, how much muscle they've got. Let him go, let him go. Jeff not having a bad round. In fact, no. a better round a this better round, round than any round. It is, too. Well, you know, round two, I thought it was about even. I scored it even. See, when he tickets his left hand or his right hand, see, as the right hand, the left hand right back, I mean, Jeff, you know, side to side, trying to come in, give him a hard look, but nothing. Got to be thrown when he comes in. You can't come in with your hands up like that. You come in not throwing to this guy, and he'll pick you off. He'll also, now he's stepping back, trying to draw him in to get that body get free, get shot in free. with his left hand. You watch him, Barry. Yeah. When, 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 Crawford, when Crawford pulls back about 18, 19 inches, he's looking to land that body shot that he just landed right there. Yeah, he's very dangerous with it. And there it is again. So, I mean, the fight plan for Crawford is working perfect for him. Just over 20 seconds remaining, round number seven. Good shots from Crawford again. And again, lovely uppercut as he's moving backwards. His timing's impeccable. I mean, every round is interesting as we come to the 10 seconds left, Mark. But Jeff Horn tries a big left hook, a lot of power, but it, what, just get it off the shoulder of Crawford. Crawford again yeah. lands a shot right at the bell, just enough to give him the round. Not a good look. Not a good look from Jeff Horn walking back to the corner there. Shakur Stevenson, one of the great young ones. He fought early and knocked his guy out in the second round. Yeah, now I didn't see that one, Colonel. Up the top with the lads. It's, uh, they're working on Jeff's eye. It doesn't at this stage. It doesn't really seem to be much of a bother at all. And let's hope it stays that way. I've seen him cut a whole lot worse, oh, including I'm, in the back yard fight. Undoubtedly, he was cut really badly. This guy's not even breathing out. Look at him. You're all right. Yeah, no, have right. a look at that. He's not even... oh. I'm looking across the ring. You're looking in the corner with Jeff. All right, let's see what Jeff Horton can do. Round eight. Jeff didn't look good to me at the end of round seven. I think he looked he looked extremely frustrated. Yeah, he did look frustrated to me too. Let's see if he can do anything more here with this guy. This is round number eight. Jeff Horn certainly has his hands full as we go into this uh, eighth round. It's been all Crawford really. Not that he's uh, he's hurt. Uh, Jeff Horn at all, but uh, Terrence has been able to uh, do what he wants neck, to do with this neck. guy. Yeah, he just ties him up. He's been picking him stop, up. Stop, 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 all the way up. I got you, I got you, I got you. There's that, there's that uppercut that he sets that trap for all the time. That's a dangerous shot. And there it is on the body again. See, he stays outside. to set you up with the right hand, try to draw you in. Here it is, right here. And that time, Jeff no, no, was able no, to get no. off first. Oh, did he catch him with an elbow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Robert Bird didn't see it anyway coming out. Yeah, no, a little shopping left hand. I think he <coughs> missed him with the elbow. I don't think it was intentional. Right now, Crawford knows exactly what he's doing. Is he gets clipped with that right hand. He's trying to set a trap for this guy coming in and blast him with the left hand to the body, catch him on the liver. That's the right side of Jeff's uh, body. Jeff circles to his right, sets up. He's done a, a job trying to go with right hand leads, but he hasn't pulled Crawford at all. all right, He's got to go, get that go, right hand him. down the middle. You know he does, he does. He, he needs to get the rip. But, it, you know, as you know, Colonel, easier said than done. This guy just so quick. Oh, Horn hit with a clean shot. I think he was stunned there. Clean left hand from Crawford. And that's the shot that I've been talking about all week that, you know, he he just pulls back out just to hit like this. And he sets it up and he snaps the trigger with the right hand. But his real goal is to catch you with the left hand underneath your right elbow. He's done it on three or four different occasions. Yeah, he, he did say it hurt, uh, hurt Jeff Horn with it and, and he, once. He did it again right there again, Barry, as you were taking it. Picking him up with the right jab too. Good little chopping right from Horn as he tries to move him side to side. I mean, not only is Crawford skilled, but he's a he's a master boxer, and he thinks in there. He knows what he's doing. He's setting these things up. He's Watch setting up head. these traps all the time. Right now, he's setting up one. Yep. And he's looking to throw that left hand, and there it goes. Oh, wow. Jeff Horn in a little bit of trouble here. He, oh, oh, he caught him with two or three good shots. He's hit with, he's hurt. Now he's, his legs are going down a bit now. 
Here comes Crawford turning it up. Turning. He'd like to try and take him out right now. Jeff is super tough, but he's super hurt. He's hurt. He's got his legs uh, about him again. This guy is as tough as nails, and he's got great recuperative power. But he gets clipped on the chin again. Yeah, Jeff Horn in a lot of trouble. Not a 10-8 round, but a really strong round. A big round. A big for round. Bud Crawford. Oh, oh, almost went wow. down. Oh, my God. He was in. His gloves almost touched the canvas. And had they, that would have been a knockdown. Oh. But it's looking academic right now. It's looking terrible. It's looking terrible. Just dig day, brave, dig day. Brave, brave. God, look at this replay now. He's, he's, he's a big throw. Getting hit with everything here. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. The referee going to the corner to see if Jeff's all right, but he was now with a lot of clean shots there. He was in a lot of trouble. He wouldn't want to cop him like that in the next round. Big body shots too. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Well, this is when we see the recuperative power now of uh, Jeff Horn. This is when he always surprises me. Let's see if he can have a surprising round. Crawford put out a bunch of energy. He wanted to take him out in that round. So here we go to the ninth. Uh, he opens up with nailing him right on the head, uh, chin again. I think you'll see Crawford go up a gear again. These body shots, Barry, that he's hitting him with. Are really beginning to take a toll. He's hit him, I gotta say, seven, eight times that liver shot. Yeah. And finally, it's breaking uh, Jeff down. I don't think Jeff's ever, ever copped liver shots like this, body shots like this, and the head shots as well. It's, you know, he, he was in a lot of trouble in the ninth round with Pacquiao, but he was in a lot of trouble in the eighth round here. The difference is Pacquiao, with all his skills and all his championships, not in his prime like this guy is. Yeah, good point. Crawford, Crawford showing he's just one of the very best fighters in the world today. Very true. Let him out, let him out. Punch get out, your hands are free. I got Abel Sanchez sitting in front of me who trains uh, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, and he might take exception, but I'll tell you one thing. Crawford sure looks as good as there is to be today. Oh. oh. Look at him. Crawford stepping back, loading up his shots. Beautiful straight left, straight down the middle. It amazes me that uh, Horn has anything left though with those body shots that he's had to absorb in this fight. He hasn't been down. He almost touched the canvas at the very tail end of round number eight. It was the ninth round that he got in all the trouble with Manny Pacquiao and he came back to win the rest of the rounds, but he's too far behind without stopping Crawford. Yes. And, and he, he, you know, he's really, Jeff looks gassed, even though I know he's as tough as they come and will give it all until he is stopped. Lucky he blocked that one. That was oh, he got nailed with a right hand, too, right just you were saying there. that. Body shot there from Crawford. Crawford is like in cruise control right now. He's got this thing in his mind totally under control. Well, he has. Clipped the uh, Jeff Horn oh. again. Clipped him with the left hand that time. Oh. Great right hand. He's in Uppercut. Trouble. Now he's in trouble. And a lot of time to go. Yeah, and that's a knockdown. The hands hit the canvas. So Horn goes down in the night. Something that Pacquiao couldn't do. But Horn's been down before and has come back like a Hornet. But he's really gassed now. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, the body shots he's taken have set all this up now. Uppercut, right hand, left hand, right hand again. That's it. It's all over. And you know what? I can't fault Robert Byrd. Can't fault Robert Byrd. We've got a brand new welterweight champion of the world. His name is Terrence Bud Crawford. Wow. Jeff Horn gave it absolutely everything he had. He did. But when you're ranked number one or two pound for pound in the world, I guess, Barry, we have to accept the fact that this guy is very, very special. Undoubtedly, Colonel. He really is something special. Crawford trying to get over to congratulate him. There's a little trash talking, but uh, he's really a pretty good guy. But a big, big win for him to win his third. A spectacular victory, I got to say, for Crawford. This yeah. three, four unanswered punches, five, six, bounces back, seven. Then he goes down. Gonna get the gun. He's a good fight. 
Takes a standing eight count, but he can't recover. No, he was and that's nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14 un unanswered punches. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. here Michael. at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, referee Robert Bird steps in and calls a halt to the bout. The official time, two minutes, 33 seconds of round number nine. The winner by TKO victory, and now the new undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud. Here.